What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so it's finally time to go to the gym right here, and we're going to be facing Fantina. You know, the luring, soulful dancer. And, uh, yeah, she's got herself some ghost-type Pokemon that we were talking about, you know? Yeah, them ghost-type Pokemon that could prove to be a problem against us. As you can see, Toothless has grown quite a few levels. Maybe a level or two. I don't even know. I'm going to take the experience share, and I'm actually going to give it to somebody else right here because we're going to be doing a lot of work, especially for Rawl, since it's three levels away from evolving into Curlia, right? Yes, Curlia. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to give that amulet coin to... Hmm, let's go to Hydra number four because we might be using Hydra number four a lot. Now, again, like I said before, this is a ghost type gym, and uh, homie here is going to be telling us that, you know, it's kind of wicked to be in this gym. It's pitch black, and we need flashlights to get around. And of course, the pattern on the on the front will be the pattern uh, in which the door you can actually go to to get to the next room. Now, I don't know if it's something to do with uh, I don't know if it's something to do with the emulator that I'm playing or anything like that. But I, you're going to see in just a little bit what what I'm talking about right here. So I'm going through the door, door right now. And it is not pitch black at all. Like, everybody... I can see everybody here. Again, I don't know what happened. Maybe there's a glitch in this thing. I... Yeah. It's supposed to be pitch black, but as you can see, there's a circle right there. We're going to have to find the other circle. So, right now, we're going to be challenging uh, Youngster Donnie here. And he's going to be having his Ghastly. So, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Remember, Ghastly is still a Poison-type Pokemon as well. So... You can actually use psychic type attacks against this guy and they'll just be gone quickly. And like you well oh, yeah. You, you guys just saw it. it just used curse. So it pretty much screwed itself right there, but it's gonna hurt us just a little if we stay. So what we're going to do is we're gonna actually switch it out because take a look. That's right, the curse attack is really hitting us right now. So person's coming out with the uh, drift loon so we're gonna be switching it out and we're gonna be going straight to hydra number four see what's up right here alrighty so we use that intimidate and luckily for us we we do have an attack that can hurt this guy and that is bite and I believe hydra's physical attack is a little bit higher so as you can see drift loon stood no chance that's right eat it and Gaia number two grows to level 18, so we're getting close. We're getting very, very close right there. And uh, Donnie has been dazzled by my uh, by my awesomeness and whatnot. So let's move on right here. As you can see, there is a circle right there, and we have to get to the same pattern. But before we do that, yeah, we're going to have to <laughs> battle another trainer right here. Most preferably, you need to train train against, uh, or you need to battle all these trainers to train. As you can see, Mistrevis is a full-on ghost-type Pokemon, so yeah, be aware of that one too. And uh, well, I'm actually gonna be switching it out right here because Gaia number two is weak against uh, full-on ghost-type Pokemon. And uh, oh, let's see, Mistrevis attack has gone down, and it's using Pain Split, so. Whatever pain it, I guess, it gets, it, I guess it uses it against me. I don't know. I didn't really read that correctly or anything like that. And as you can see, Psyche or Psybeam is, well, it, it did us some damage right there. But we do have that bite attack. Takes a huge chunk out of Mistrevis's, uh, Mistrevis's HP. And, uh, ooh. Uh-oh. There's that Psybeam again. Here comes that bite attack. What now? How's that feel? What now? Alrighty, okay. So we're switching that out. Beat you. We're gonna go to the circle. And, uh. Well, before we do that, we're gonna have to heal up our Pokemon right here because. Why not? Let's just heal up our Pokemon and, uh. You know, let's be healthy. Let's, let's go in this unscathed. Let's just win. Just win, baby. Just win. Well, if you guys already know, I'm not a Raiders fan. Fuck the Raiders. But I'm just saying that, you know. <laughs> and, uh, well, we're using a few potions here and there. And now we're going to be moving on to the next person right here. Uh, before we switch out. Because Hydra number two looks like to, uh, looks like to be the, the best Pokemon for this situation right now. And as you can see, there is maybe... Yeah, there's one trainer right there. And uh, I don't think that's the pattern that we're going to have to go to. Or is, is it another circle? I don't know. I really don't know. Alrighty, 
bring it on chance coming out with his ghastly I probably should have stayed with height or with uh, with uh, guy at number two but yeah I think we can do this and uh, chance is using that X defend just to stay alive just one more time and doesn't help him wasting this the next attack right there and uh, well that was easy I guess that was an easy victory very very easy so let's move on right here so let's see the pattern is a circle with a dot in the middle and there are three three trainers right here so in retrospect we're gonna have to beat them all we're gonna have to challenge them to beat them all right here so here we go we're playing or we're fighting against ace trainer Catherine and she's coming out with her haunter and I'm here coming out with Hydra number four because Hydra number four is a badass I don't think guy number two would have done so well against Haunter right here. And here's that Nightshade attack that we're not so worried about. So here's that fight. Eat it. Buh bye bye No. Still alive. So let's go again with one more bite. But there's that Sucker Punch attack that will not take us out. But it is very much a Sucker Punch attack. And look at that. Haunter defeated. Oh yeah. And uh, there's another level for Hydra number four. And, uh, huh. Well, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't learn any new moves, but, you know, it's still something. And, uh, well, here she comes out with a mischievous. Seems to be the, seems to be the same Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Bite attack. There's that bite attack right there. And, uh, how you doing? Not doing very, very well. Oh, yeah. And uh, here we go with another bite attack for the win. Oh yeah. And uh, well, let's see. Guy at number two is gaining another level right there, which is good. And we're just gonna be moving on. No biggie, because you know we're we're, we're trying to evolve our new Pokemon right here. And uh, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon first. And uh, let's see. Let's use this right here for Hydra number four because it deserved it. It earned it right there. And, uh, let's see. What else do I have to do except heal my Hydra? Oh, yeah, battle that other trainer, or this trainer right here, which is also cool. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and battle another person. Why not? So here we go. School kid McKenzie wants to battle, and it's coming out with a Drifloon right here. And, uh, Toothless. Time to kick some ass right now. How, how, how appropriate is it? How appropriate is it? So, there's that Gust attack that we're not afraid of, but it takes a nice chunk out of uh, Toothless' uh, HP. But here we go with a Dragon Rage. And that takes a lot more. And, uh, oh, dude. that Gust attack. Not cool at all. But here we go. Dragon Rage again. And, uh, alrighty. There we go. Toothless, victorious, gains another level right there. And uh, who's next? Who's next? Drifloon again. Okay, so we're not we're not afraid of anybody. We are not afraid of anybody, especially a wannabe. Uh, well, a wannabe balloon right here. So there's that Drifloon looking all spooky and balloony and all that stuff. And Hydra number four biting it. It's gonna pop it right here. And there goes Drifloon. Luckily, it wasn't its evolved form, because that would have been bad. That would have been horrible. And, uh, well, there's ex extra experience points right there for us. And, yes, my strength is dazzling. It is super dazzling. And, uh, well, again, healing up our Pokemon. Make sure to bring a lot of healing items, guys, because, uh, yeah, this place will try... Well, will mess around with you. You will not like it if you don't come in here with some, ex uh, with some healing items. And, uh, well, Hydra number four, again, the recipient of more potions. It's awesome. It's always awesome to heal my Hydra number four. So, well, let's see who we got next right here. We already defeated you. We have to go to the circle and the dot. So we have to beat this guy right here. And I want to battle every single one of these trainers because, hey, you know, we need to uh, gain some levels. Uh, if I remember correctly, the last two times I fought against Fantina... It took me quite a while to actually beat her because of her mischievous or Miss Magus. So, we're gonna just train up a little bit and hopefully, or just hope for the best right there. And, 
Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. There's that gas leak. Gas leak's been uh, taken out. No, it's not been taken out. And uh, the nightshade attack on my toothless. Takes a nice chunk out of my uh, HP, but here we go again. Dragon Rage, hopefully, for the win. Look at that. How about that? Eat it. And, uh, well, more experience points for all of us right there. Guy number two, just benefiting off of the, the, the whole experience, the non battle, and all that stuff. And uh, I'm going to be switching out to guy number two now because I really, really want to evolve him right now. And it has its chance to actually do that if it defeats this Ghastly right here. So let's see what happens. And, uh, well, there's that hypnosis attack. It's something that I didn't want to happen. Huh. Alrighty. Let's see where this is going. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Let's go with an awakening. Hope for the best, right? <laughs> and uh, that takes a uh, that, that that's a nice amount, or that that that's actually good. And then there's that nice shit attack that takes a nice chunk out of our HP. So the next move will actually defeat Gaia number two, which I don't want. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, let Gaia number two get defeated because why not? All right, let's switch him out. Oh god. You know, I actually thought we were going to win. I really did. And, uh, well, Hydra number two. Or H Hydra number four. Taking some butt. Ready to pick some butt right here. And, uh, well, that didn't take long. That really didn't take long. And Haunter's going to be coming in. So, let's go ahead and just face Haunter with Hydra number four. And, uh, well, here we go. Mean look for whatever. <laughs> mean look. But here we go with a bite attack. Will that work? Haunter, no. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and just, uh, you know what? What am I going to do right here? I I'm trying to think of something that's pretty awesome. You know what? Let's go with a bite attack. But this person's going to come out with a shadow ball. Hopefully that doesn't get us to, de or that doesn't defeat us or anything like that. And uh, alrighty, look at that defeated Haunter. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And Hydra number four gains another level, level 24 or level 23, and it's learning Dragon Rage. So that's another uh, that's another uh, good thing for us, I guess. And uh, well, we got 2,000 or 2,800 dollars right there. So let's move on right here to the next room, and there's. Plenty of more doors right there, and that was the last door right there. So, the next challenge is Fantina, the gym leader. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to revive Gaia number two because we need everything we got for this gym leader. She is very, very tricky. You know, I probably should have made that whole, uh, you know, uh, gym leader analysis and stuff like I did in my last two walkthroughs. But for this game, it's a little hard. Very, very hard. So, Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. You know, I, I just remember that I had a, a, a nice move here that I could use. Stealth Rock. No, Secret Power, Rock Tomb. Yeah, I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm tr oh, crud. Okay, so the only Pokemon that can learn this one is uh, Toothless. Yeah, I just remember that I had quite a few uh, TMs right here that I can actually use against this Gym Leader, but unfortunately... Yeah, the only person that can learn Stealth Rock right here is Donatello, and I uh, really don't need Flash right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, not, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I don't think I should be here. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be teaching my Pokemon very much of anything right here. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, you know what? Yeah, let's let's switch it out with Sansum Sans right here. So there we go, Rock Tomb with Sand Tomb, and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I don't even know why I did that, but here we are taking on Fantina, and she's like, "Ooh, finally you have arrived since I was in the country, yada, yada, yada. Contest in this place, she loves Poffins, she is French. That must mean one thing, that she's from the Kalos region, and she wants the challenge, or she wants a challenge. So here it is, guys. We're going to bring that challenge to her. So here we are, our fourth battle? Third? Third? Fourth? I don't know. Yeah. Let's just call it third or fourth. Whatever. 
against Fantina, the ghost type tri uh, gym leader, and she comes out with her Dust Skull, Pokemon from Hoenn. It is slow, but it is very, very tricky. You guys got to realize that most of these ghost type Pokemon thrive off of confusion, will o wisp, uh, hypnosis, dream eater, all that fun stuff. So just be aware of everything and make sure to have a lot of healing items, like I said early on, because they will try and screw with you. It's going to get frustrating. Believe me, guys. And there we go with another Dragon Rage. And we're getting hurt by our burn right there. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So we go. Dragon Rage again. Say goodbye to Duskull. How does it feel to fail? And Gaia number two gaining experience points without doing anything. And, uh, well, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here because Toothless is burnt. And, uh... I don't want that. I don't want. I don't want him to get defeated like that so easily. So here we go with Hydra number four, our other so-called Dragon type Pokemon, and we're facing off of uh, Fantinus' strongest Pokemon, Miss Magius. This Pokemon right here likes to do this. It likes to confuse you, put you to sleep for some reason, and then actually just screw with you. And I believe this is the re this is how we got defeated, or not how we got defeated, but how we just you know what prolonged our whole video right here. And uh, as you can see. Ms. Magius does not come ill-equipped, as you can see, it has Citrus Berry, so it will heal up automatically. And then it will just mess you up with a Shadow Ball. So the best way to go about Ms. Magius is either a Dark-type Pokemon or a Normal-type Pokemon with some Special-type moves. And this guy right here is kicking our butt right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So that Bite Attack nearly makes it faint. And I believe we both know where this is going. None of us is going to faint right now. And this is going to be the same old process over and over and over again. So as you can see, getting healed up again. And Miss Magius, what are you doing? Yes, going back. Okay, so back to the same old process. I'm going to try and bite it. But it confuses me again because, yeah, it's a dick like that. It is a dick like that. And... Well, just let, as luck would have it, we would get hurt, we would get hit first. So, that's bad, and uh, there's that Shadow Ball yet again. And, uh, come on, we hurt ourselves, which is some BS right there. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and use that Super Potion, because we need to. And, uh, well, there it is, we're all healed up, and, uh, well, there goes that other... Shadow Ball, and luckily for us, it didn't lower any stats, but there it goes again with another Shadow Ball. Oh my god. Oh my god. And there goes Hydra number four. Put up a good battle, but it wasn't enough against this guy right here. Ugh. Okay, so here we go. Starblade. Come on, Starblade. You are somewhat of a normal type Pokemon, right? And uh, let's see. We're going to go with the wing attack right here, but... Not fast enough because this guy right here is using a confuse ray again. You are starting to bug me, Miss Magius. And there goes that confusion again. You slut. Not Fantina. Miss Magius. Quit being a confusion slut. And uh well, I'm taking a look at my berries right here, and yeah, I got nothing that can heal confusion. So I'm pretty much screwed right now. Yeah, you know what? I'm just... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the hits right here. Uh, okay. Whatever. Whatever. We're gonna have to just take the hits right here. Alright, so there's that Psybeam, and it took a, takes a nice chunk out of our HP, and uh, here we go with the wing attack. And that takes a little bit, and it looks like we're not going to have a, a chance against uh, Ms. Magius if we just heal up, so that is exactly what we're gonna do right here. Come on, Starblade! Do it for your guys! Do it for the bitches! Let's go. And, uh, well, there's that Psybeam. Oh, my God. Psybeam attack really, really messes you up. And uh, there goes again with another Psybeam. And uh, at this point, Starblade's getting his butt kicked. And uh, here goes another wing attack. And nearly makes it fake. Good God. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to have to take this hit. We are really going to have to take this hit. Screw it. It is what it is. So we weaken, we weaken Ms. Magius right here. Did you, do you guys see what I'm talking about? It's annoying. All right, so back to Donatello right here, and uh, well, 
There goes another Confuse Ray, which is freaking annoying. Come on, use something other than that combination. Let me win. And would you have? Would you look at that? We're yeah. Ah, oh, God, I hate you. I hate you. you. See, she's not letting us win that easily. She is not going to let us win. What the hell? Alrighty. There you go. Bite attack. Eat it, Miss Magius. How does it feel to lose? Oh my god, it took us three Pokemon in this just to win. And Gaia finally grows to level 20, and uh, she's going to be coming out with her Haunter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay with uh, Donatella right here and take my chances. I am really going to take my chances right now. And uh, she's like, oh heavens, this is my final Pokemon? Yes, it is. And I'm going to hit you with a load of a thousand angry suns. Here we go. Bite attack. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye. Oh, it didn't make him faint. What the hell? So here we go. Sucker punch yet again. And he, we snapped out of confusion. And that is how you win it. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it, Hunter. Suck it, everything. And, uh... Guy on number two. Yeah, look at that. Fantina's been defeated, and you're fantastically, fantastically strong. Yes, I am. And uh, would you look at that? Took us maybe one episode or two. And Gaia number two is finally evolving. And uh, well, you guys already know that I'm not intending on evolving Curlia right here into a Guard Devourer. I'm actually going to evolve it into a uh, Gallade right here. The only thing is, I'm gonna have to prevent it from uh, from growing to level 30 and all that stuff, and you know, evolving in it. If I could find a Neverstone, then that would be great. But eventually, you know, we'll we'll be doing that. But as you can see, we got ourselves the Relic Badge, and uh, is that our fourth badge? I can't remember. I, yeah, and it, it it will allow us to use Defog. And uh, look at that, we get the TM65, which is what Shadow Ball? No, Super, oh, no Shadow Claw, which is another good move high critical uh, hit who doesn't like that and uh, yeah she's loving us she says that well, there's more stronger trainers out there in Hoenn Sinnoh and all that good luck I guess I don't even know whatever so let's just move on right here talk to this guy we've beaten the gym leader yes there is no end to us being strong which is great it's also great that's right I am the strongest person in the world and uh, that is basically it for our home city or town or whatever you like to call it in our next episode we're just, we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff guys uh, I guess we're gonna be doing a lot more traveling so let's go ahead and check out our badges right here no that was our third badge what made me think that it was our fourth I don't know I really don't know but stay tuned guys in the next episode we'll be traveling some more and uh, kicking more ass see you guys